A priority for Metro Vancouver is improving relationships with First Nations in our region. Identifying common interests and looking for ways to protect and enhance our region benefits everyone. Marianne Booth is the chair of the Indigenous Relations Committee. Welcome. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. You have worked with the Indigenous Relations Committee for almost a decade, both as a member and now as a chair. What would you say are the top priorities right now when it comes to Indigenous relations? Well, definitely, as the name implies, uh, building relationships, improving relations. And reconciliation uh, is really an important uh, focus and we get regular updates from our staff and from members of what we're doing uh, to move forward the reconciliation initiative and how important it is to the committee. And then there's a lot that we do just fr from an educational point of view. We get speakers in and we have cultural awareness training and uh, we, we were all about educating our members as well. For you personally, what have you seen change over the time in the last 10 years, let's say, uh, in terms of the work that you've done in this committee? It's really been astounding to see a ch the changes happen so quickly. Um, what I've seen is actually the committee itself has gone from uh, what was a real technical committee looking at legislation and um, initiatives and, and their impact on Metro and um, um, preparing position papers and going meeting with the federal and provincial governments about that. More of a kind of one-sided approach and we've gone to a, an approach of understanding and listening and learning and the culture and the approach of the committee is palatable. So what would that look like in terms of, of the work that's accomplished? Because we hear this word rec reconciliation and yet people might still wonder what that looks like in terms of a concrete example? So one uh, speaker that I remember specifically that I think highlighted this change in culture and approach for the committee was a woman by the name of Sophie Maristy. And she um, lost her sister um, to murder. She came to the committee and I have to say when she told her story, that was a really pivotal moment for the committee. And that was when I first started as chair. And then since then, on the reconciliation front, I've been super proud of some of the work we did. We had a, um, we've just signed a uh, cultural cooperation agreement with the Slaywood Tooth reg with regard to Belcara Park. And this is, this is precedent setting. We haven't done it before. Our staff have worked a long time in building the relationship and the trust, and then we had the celebration. And really what, it, again, it's doing is it's honoring the First Nations relationship with the land, mm -hmm. the stewardship of the land, their approach to um, thinking seven generations ahead. They're, they're just visitors on this land. and. They actually consider the lands and the animals their brothers and sisters. So um, why wouldn't we, from not only a reconciliation perspective, but a resilience perspective, welcome them as partners and learn from them and understand what they're doing? I think there's a lot of that that could go on in the broader community. What are some other ways that you do engage with the community? So another uh, good example, and we've, been, we've done six of them now, are the community to community forums. And we've done them with um, the Musqueam, the Tsleil-Waututh, the, the Katsi Nation, and our committee members, the members of the First Nations, the staff, their staff, their elected officials to break bread together. I mean, we meet, we share a little bit of our story um, through video or um, speakers, and we sit down at the table with them and we eat a meal. How is Metro Vancouver collaborating with the First Nations to ensure economic prosperity in the region? Several ways. We've been working with them for a long time on our major infrastructure projects. Anytime uh, it is going to impact or affect First Nations, they are top of mind and we work with them around input, around consultation, around archaeological issues. Um, and so that's been ongoing and been really ramped up. 
uh, it's top of mind. Secondly, we, uh, we do have a procurement policy that specifically um, embraces and encourages First Nations to bid on projects and bid on aspects of supply on uh, services, and in particular around the, again, the archeological expertise. That's a natural fit. And then one of the initiatives that I'm very excited about and I'm involved with personally at the metro level is our regional prosperity initiative. It's a service that did not exist in Vancouver. Every other metropolitan city has one and it is the main mandate to encourage strategic investment in our region, to create jobs, to create opportunities, to generate economic growth. And we have a uh, fantastic board uh, that we brought together, including First Nations, including union representatives, including academic representatives, uh, chambers, uh, economic uh, development partners. Uh, so we've had our first meeting, and I'm, I have great hopes for this uh, initiative. The province is behind us, the federal government is behind us, and First Nations are at the table, so they want to be there. And I think that's supported at the federal and the provincial levels as well. We speak a lot about resilience. Uh, you've touched upon it as well. Uh, what more can Metro Vancouver do with First Nations when it comes to resilience? For the most part, they've got many of the same issues that we have, which is housing affordability, housing supply, um, aging infrastructure, uh, processing of, of solid waste and, and liquid waste and um, upgrading of roads. They've got all those issues. So our federation has been very successful at Metro to share um, and share in our investments, share in our, our uh, collaboration around the, the table. So First Nations are a really important part of that. And I, I personally would like to see us get them to the table in a more formal way. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time today. No, th thank you for your good questions. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Marianne Booth is the chair of the Indigenous Relations Committee for Metro Vancouver. Mm -hmm.